what if I told you that you could have a personal assistant right inside Microsoft Excel? That's right, Microsoft 365 has launched Copilot that is hailed to be the most powerful productivity tool on the planet. Is this going to revolutionize our productivity within Excel? Well, let's explore the features and benefits right inside this video. Hi, I'm Samina Gori, and if you're enjoying content like this, I would appreciate if you could consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Once you are a proud owner of Copilot, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your Excel sheet is stored inside a OneDrive. Now, once inside the OneDrive, make sure that the autosave is on. And lastly, make sure that your license is activated within Excel. So you may see the Copilot sign here on the right, and it might be shaded out, which means you can't click inside it. You go across to File, and then you go to Account, and all you need to do is update your license right here, and that will automatically activate it within your Excel sheet. Now let's click onto our icon right here for Copilot and see what it comes up with. And it starts to give you some options and things that it needs to do. So you can select the different ways of how it can actually work and help you. But the first and most important thing is, if you read the message right here, it just tells you you need to have your data within a table. And simply all you need to do is click onto your data here. You can go to insert and you can create it into a table or simply the shortcut is control T for a table. Do we have headers for the table? Yes, we've got headers for a table and click OK right there. Once you've created your table, you'll have a look at the four different features we can explore with Copilot. So adding formula, columns, highlighting, sorting and filtering, as well as analyze. Let's go across and go to add formula columns. Now, I'd like to add a new column with a formula. We can suggest it and we can add different things. So you have some predefined formulas here, which it would like to add as a column. We can exactly do that. We can also formulate our own questions. Let's ask it to add a column, add a column with a 10% discount on all products. Let's see what does that bring us. Press enter and see what's happening right here. So as it's working on it, it's generating a custom formula column. And let's wait for that. And it tells you that this is the current formula for the table. So if you want to do that, you can simply just add it. Or if you want an explanation of the formula, it simply tells you the explanation of how it got to that formula. And it multiplies the value from the unit price right here by 0 0.9, which is discount factor to apply a 10% discount. The formats are a result with two columns. Now, if you're happy with that, simply press enter and it gives you the discounted column right here. Now, if that's something that you didn't expect, you can simply just undo it. The second thing we can explore is the highlight function. So let's click onto the highlight function and all it says is we need to highlight portions of data and it can help us with that. So let's have a look. You can highlight the highest total values, the smallest quantity or the top 10. You can bold them, you can highlight them. So let's have a look and let's create our own highlight the top 10 total revenue items and let's see what that brings us now with some spelling mistakes over here copilot still tries to understand your data and it asks you to wait for a while and there it goes it takes you and it applied it tells you exactly what it's done and it's made the changes by applying a certain color and formatting the top 10 so we can keep that if we want to, or we can undo the data as well. If you don't like that particular color, you could simply ask it to regenerate in a different color. Highlight in green, perhaps highlight 
in a green, not a yellow. Let's see what does that bring up for us. And it simply takes a few seconds to make sure that it's done. Now what it can do is it set the background on a G3, but as you can see, there are some limitations and it simply asks you to help us improve and tell you about the Copilot experience. Obviously, this is something that is still a work in progress and it's not perfected as yet. So as it says, it's set the background to green. Obviously, it's very clear that this hasn't happened. As well as giving you a prompt here where it says it's AI generated content may be incorrect. So today, Copilot does not have a very good understanding or a very good satisfaction level of its own capabilities within Excel. Let's move on to the third function, which is a sort and filter. So let's click onto the sort and filter and it tells you the things that it can do. So it can sort and filter and keep things organized. Bold the top 10, show the items with US, but let's go and type in what we want. Show me the top five countries with the highest, with the highest revenue. And let's see what does that bring for us. While it analyzes the data, it comes up with the total number of quantities sold and I have added it revenue here and it doesn't really understand that. So you should, if you want to be very specific, use the column headers so that it understands what it, what you mean. Here, it simply picked up what it thinks the best explanation is for what I have input into the chat. The fourth option we have here is analyzing our data. So let's click onto the analyze and it can analyze a show dark show charts and pivot table. So let's have a look. Quantity sold from each department, quantity sold, and let's go and see if that generates us a chart. Yes, let's add this to a new sheet and it's inserting content and that has worked beautifully. Now, sometimes with the beginning of Copilot, this feature may not work and you may have to repeat the table function again. Now, this is great. It gives you everything over here and you can also undo it if you don't like it or continue with some different tables. Once we've gone back to here, you will have a look right down here inside the bot here. We can even use the Microsoft microphone function right here. So let's go. Give me the top 10 item names by total. Okay. Let's press OK and see if it takes my voice commands correctly. And there you go. It takes the voice commands correctly. And you can also insert those into a new sheet. Now you have another one down here, which is a little secret. And this is called a view prompts. Let's have a look at the view prompts. You can create, understand, edit, ask and view more prompts. Now this is something that is in constant production from Microsoft and constant review. So this tool will only get better. Now, once you've loaded the prompt, the Copilot Lab has a number of different options that you can go through and you can go into the Copilot Lab and explore a number of different options and prompts. So you can ask it to prompt and spot some trends, highlight data, as well as combine columns, getting counts, and different data sets that you want to visualize and have a look at within your data. Well, this is the beginning of the AI revolution and while Microsoft Excel with Copilot has its limitations, things like having it in a table, this is the beginning of the revolution. And from this point onwards, it's only going to get stronger, better, faster, increasing your productivity and not wasting time on functions and features that you just fail to remember time after time. Now, if you enjoy content like this, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. And until next time, happy spreadsheeting.